Hi guys, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com and today I'm doing a video on how to use Windows 8. Uh, yes, I know it's kind of late to do that, but I realized that's really not the case. Um, I got a lot of uh, phone calls and text messages from friends telling me on how Windows 8 sucks and they would like to know how to use it. So I figured, you know, it might be more than just my friends who would like to know that, so I might as well make a video. So the thing about Windows 8 to know is that this is a, an operating system that has two sides. You have the Metro UI side, which is what we're looking at here, or the modern UI Microsoft calls, and this is populated with live tiles. What that means, instead of you having icons, you have all these tiles on the screen here that are separated, and you can see there are various types of tiles. Now, the live tiles, of course, are tiles like this, which you see they're updating left and right. They show you pictures, maybe news, and things like that, and then you have tiles that look like these here and these are pretty much your standard regular windows applications that are just pinned in square large icons now the tiles can be customized to whichever way you like so i can look at the photo tile here and i can right click with my mouse and that brings up a bar option below now on the metro side you get a lot of these bar options that pop up from the top or the bottom uh, where i can unpin from start which is the start screen here i can uninstall i can make smaller i can turn off live tiles and also i can go into more applications so you know what i'm going to make the photo app smaller so i made it smaller and it still updates but i can do that again i'll just make it larger and that's it now I can move the tiles wherever I want to on screen, so I can move this to the side, left and right, I can do all that fun stuff with the tiles. Now if you look at the top right hand corner of the tiles, you see there's a name there, I can right click, I can change account picture, lock it, sign out, and sign in as guest. That gives you an option to have different users on the account at the same time. Now with your regular uh, applications here, if you right click on one of them, say for instance Windows Live Writer. Um, you can see it's got different options. It has uninstall, pin to taskbar, which would be on your regular desktop, which we'll show you in a second, uninstall, open new window, run as administrator, or open file location. This gives you more in-depth look into the regular desktop applications. And we can go to all apps. Now, if we go to all apps, this is basically just a tray technically below that shows you your apps which are the live tile apps and then these are applications now you see things like copy uh, daemon tools power direct 11 chrome these are traditional applications that i have on my system i have soon and this is how your traditional applications will look in the app tray now to get out of here uh, a little trick with windows you can either use the windows button on your keyboard or if you come to the lower left hand corner you see this here that is basically where your start button is but it doesn't really show up there now you can also go to the lower right hand corner or the upper left right hand corner also and this gives you this chime menu now the chime menu has search share a function start uh, device and settings and you can access this chime menu anywhere anytime on your windows screen um, so it doesn't matter if you're in an application or app you can access that and also shows you time and date so if i hit start takes me back to my start screen now we kept we'll come back here to a second let's go back to the desktop this is the other side of windows 8 so if we jump to the desktop here that shows you uh, our desktop screen and we have a traditional windows desktop it reminds you of windows 7 you can see i have all my app my uh, i have some apps and folders and pictures all just thrown on my desktop and on my taskbar I've pinned a lot of applications I do this because this is the easiest way for you to have your applications at hand so the beauty about Windows 8 is that if you don't want to use the Metro side you can stay on the desktop side and it allows you to do all your functions there so I can open up a browser I have Skype and my editing software here uh, you can see that I have FileZilla if I want to. So I can open up different applications. I can play a video with Windows uh, Media Player. So I can tap this video here. Five, four. You can see a video that I recorded for the Lumia 928. So I can do all that from here um, in this section. Now, if you want to go into certain things like your control panel, all those features, you still have those functionalities. You have your right-click functionalities, but also if you go, of course, to the lower right-hand corner, that brings your chime bar again. And now to get into some in-depth settings, you can go into settings here, and that pulls up some settings for you. So you have settings on desktop, you have control panel, which would take you to control panel, take you some personalizations, 
and you can see you have the control panel to uninstall system settings all that fun stuff that you you really want to jump to into into windows and we can close that out we go back here again you see you have options for personalization this allows you to personalize your desktop background and um, things like that we'll close that out and then of course we have PC info gives you computer info right here again it's quite a simple simple task shows you how much RAM all that fun stuff you're running and finally of course help now below here you have what you call like your P general PC information which you usually have in a small corner on your desktop again you can access this by any point in time so you can change your computer volume drop that down network uh, display settings uh, which of course that would be work for a laptop notifications if you have any on your system power which allows you to uh, update shutdown restore sleep all that fun stuff and keyboard now to change PC settings this takes you into a very different settings options than you used to in Windows and we'll show you right now by clicking on that now this gives you the PC settings in, in for Windows 8 so you've got personalize which helps you personalize your lock screen so you can have a lock screen image uh, you can have a start screen option so you can see our start screen uh, we can change the different patterns that we have and designs we don't have the ability to put a background yet which will come in Windows 8.1 but we do have the ability to change some of the patterns some designs that we have here and we can put in something that we like so we're going to go with that and then we can change our account picture and things like that uh, overall so we can go into users, uh, change user accounts, add users, notifications, and you can show applications that we want notifications for. We have search function. Now the search is built to search throughout all applications, and we'll show you that in a second once we're done with the PC settings here. And we also have share functionality to show you applications you can easily access and share whatever information you want. So we have mail connected, uh, list five, we can list more than five, we can list say 15 applications. Uh, mail people SkyDrive Twitter uh, with this phone now the general gives you date and time app switching spellings shows you uh, available space uh, refresh your PC so you can refresh the PC and wipe out everything in terms of applications but still keep all your files so you can says you will not lose your photos or music now remove everything and reinstall Windows we will reinstall Windows for you and this is an advanced uh, startup that actually uses a CD or disk you've got privacy options devices tell you which devices are connected to your system which I have a boatload as you can see ease of access sync settings Windows Home Group and of course Windows Update so you can actually update your PC um, from here again to get out of here is quite simple either come to the corners or uh, you can come to the lower left hand corner now we talked about search now search here uh, gives you this general search option so you can search within certain applications if you choose or you can search here between apps all the apps settings or files so for instance I am looking for say uh, Nokia if I type in Nokia nothing comes up in applications but you can see it shows me the 352 files with the name Nokia and I can click on that and it gives me all the files from pictures to videos I can I, I can sort them out between all files documents settings so this is an easy way to search and I can do this anywhere so even if I went to the desktop and I went here again I went I need to file stuff on Nokia it will still give me this option to do that so that's something you can do with search now the share functionality allows you to share there's nothing to share so I haven't selected something to share but if I went back and I said uh, okay let's look for Nokia which we did and we have this we can decide to share that uh, from there sorry I didn't show that, that properly so it's quite easy to do that and again like I said you can easily pin your applications here if you're one of those that says I really just want the traditional desktop side um, what you need to do is pin the applications that are best for you and this is why I find quite useful for, for myself I use the desktop more on my on my um, on my PC than my laptop on my laptop I use the Metro and the desktop kind of equally but on my on my desktop here on my um, you know PC at home I actually use the desktop side more so you need to go into you need to go to start and you look for application you want to pin so for instance you know what um, 
let's see let's see what application have I have I not pinned you know what say for instance I use um, PowerPoint a lot so I can right click and you see here it says pin to task pin to taskbar done what that does is allow you to go to the to your start menu or your desktop sorry and PowerPoint's right here in the corner so that's something to note and have and it allows you to do that quite easily allows you to function fully here in Windows 8. You still have your right click functionalities where you can right click here on your desktop to search different things. Again to access the control panels you go into settings and see control panel there and you can personalize and look for your PC info. So it's really not hard to stay on the desktop side if you choose on Windows 8 to do that. If you're buying a new computer you're going to get Windows 8 on there and I hope this actually helps you guys to to use Windows 8, Windows 8 with the best capability, uh, with Windows 8.1, there are better improvements that will help streamline things much better for people. Uh, as you can see, even though in the, in the left hand corner there is no start button, if you right click it, you still have your start functionalities. This is very important. This is one key thing I wanted to show before the end. So, even though it's not, there's no start button, but if you go to the lower left hand corner and right click, you would get your program features, power options, viewfinder system, device manager, the whole lot, your run functions, task manager, all that, all it's right there. So it's still available and it's there for you and you can still do a lot of things. But my main suggestion is pin everything to the task manager for that you want to use and you can steal the desktop side as much as you want. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, uh, feel free to ask also leave any recommendations you have for people in the comments so we can share uh, hopefully this helped you out in using Windows 8 uh, so this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoying it to see